Looking back into the past, we can see the growth, the evolution, the progress of mankind. We've created many tools to help keep us alive, to keep this thing we call progress going. But can we actually see this as progress? What about the destruction we've caused? Cutting down forests, killing off species, and climate change if you believe it, and destroying the place we call home. At first, we had just been cutting down trees to increase the land we would have to farm more crops. But as the years went on, more and more trees were not cut down for farming, but to be made into products. By cutting down those trees, we were harming the habitat of other species and ourselves. By allowing our species to grow and gain the things we want, we feel that we progress, but all the other species affected by us have to constantly adapt, migrate, or die, causing the other species to regress. Not only that, but many of the trees around the world help mitigate greenhouse gases. They do this by absorbing the carbon dioxide in the air and storing it in the soil. By cutting these trees down, we allow more greenhouse gases to get stuck in Earth's atmosphere, aiding global warming. We not only have put these species into endangerment by destroying their habitat, but also by hunting them. This can be seen in seal hunting when we kill them for their fur, elephants when they are killed for their ivory, and sharks when they are killed for their fins. As we kill these animals and add them to the endangered species list, all we get is a product for enjoyment, or to show off to others, not something that is used to contribute to our advancement. Along with the natural deaths for these animals, we make additional deaths for them and at the same time hurt the ecosystems they live in by removing them from their food chain. This can create a domino effect, leading to more species becoming endangered because an extinction to one species would mean that its predators would also decrease. This would also mean that the prey population would boom, but the food the prey eats would dwindle. The last few hundred years, we have been destroying the planet with carbon emissions. In the 1800s, we populated the world with factories that would run on coal. These factories would produce a lot of carbon dioxide, especially since there were no regulations to clean up their pollution. Cars were also a problem. Cars became popular in the early 1920s and ran on gasoline, which when burned would also produce a lot of carbon dioxide. One thing that didn't help the situation was that the catalytic converter had been produced in 1950, but the US didn't put it into law until 1975. So for about 50 years, the US alone had been polluting the environment with the use of cars. This was especially bad in Los Angeles, California, as the sky was gray instead of blue. Since the pursuit of progress began, the development of technology and medicine has always followed. It's because of said advancements that we are able to save lives, inform the masses, and become more efficient in our everyday lives. However, the cost of progress is overlooked as something that is done for the good of mankind, not allowing for proper and effective action to be taken to what damage we do to the environment. In the last decade, carbon emissions have increased nearly 13%, and it seems they will remain this way as long as technology keeps improving, along with its exposure to people. The increase in air pollution has caused the world's temperatures to increase, directly contributing to the bleaching of coral reefs. Coral reefs, when stressed by such temperatures, are prone to mortality and risk destruction of habitat for thousands of species of marine life. This is just one example of the cost of progress now. Others include eutrophication, oil spills, and many more that have been caused by our urge to progress. We're now deep in an era similar to that of late 19th century modernism, whereas now we are continually trying to find different ways to improve our quality of life instead of social reforms, despite the old ways. This time it's not only hurting us, but our surroundings as well creating a bizarre case where instead of solving problems that we create, we tend to make more through our supposed advances. Humanity has a great future. As we continue to use our natural resources at an exponentially growing rate, our world starts to decay faster. Glaciers will become non-existent. The sea level will rise. Temperatures will increase and give way to record-breaking droughts. We are on the verge of the next mass extinction. Our so-called improvement in the world is just a guise to wreak havoc on the environment. Our destruction of the environment has garnered the attention of the Union of Concerned Scientists, who in 1992 released a document called A Warning to Humanity, 
which warned us about our mass consumption of resources and a call for action to reduce our impact. This document gained the signatures of over 15,000 scientists, many of whom have received the Nobel Prize for their research in their field of science. Recently, the Union released a second warning, highlighting our rapid growth as a species with connections to our increasing consumption of fossil fuels. Our growing trends fall in line with the trends of forest declining, freshwater declining, and temperatures rising. We can see the future unfolding in front of us, like coral bleaching, the Great Barrier Reef, home to about 2,000 species of wildlife, is undergoing coral bleaching due to the dramatic temperature change of the ocean caused by global warming. Global warming will be continue to become a detriment to the environment, like the melting of glaciers and the polar ice caps, which will cause the sea level to rise, putting beachfront properties and coastal cities at risk of flooding and water damage. Rising waters will also lead to rainstorms pushing further inland and larger floods in the future. This future is going to become a reality if we stand idle, because the cost of progress isn't paid with money, it's paid with the lives of plants and animals.